Well, prayer warriors across America are turning to God to heal their land. They gathered this week to take part in the 60th annual National Day of Prayer, and the nation's capital was center stage. Paul Strand was there and has the story. People from all around the nation gathered on their knees in a congressional conference room for this event, asking for God's mercy and blessing for America. Some people talk a lot about prayer. We do the praying on the National Day of Prayer, and this really is the most important day in our national life. Nothing compares to this day. Longtime Day of Prayer Chairman Shirley Dobson pointed out America's leaders have called upon their countrymen to call upon the Lord since 1775. This has been our heritage. This has been our tradition. International Prayer Ministry's Glenn Shepard asked folks to get to their knees for a time of corporate repentance, pointing out it's a mandate across the scriptures. Every word of God cries out for his people to repent. Not all Americans believe it's proper for the government to call for a day of prayer. Amanda Kniff at the Secular Coalition for America says it violates the separation of church and state. We do not believe the government should be in the business of telling people when or how to pray. Florida Congressman Alan West couldn't disagree more. This America is rooted in a Judeo-Christian faith tradition, which finds its cornerstone of communication, prayer. Kay Seidhammer just moved to Washington from California, where during earlier days of prayer... We would gather around our flagpoles and we would pray. And so this is just an awesome opportunity to be here in our nation's capital. Nancy Bonjour came from Michigan to pray because of the sad state of the economy, as well as... The state of our morals, and we need to be on our faces before God. A special emphasis at this year's prayer time was honoring America's wounded warriors, disabled fighting for their country. And one of America's most beloved disabled Christians was named the honorary chairman of this day of prayer. Johnny Erickson Tata told CBN News her main message is Americans mustn't give up hope in dark times. Our God is a great refuge and a fortress, and it is in our God that we put our trust. And he is our inspiration because we know that good will ultimately triumph. Tata was quoting Psalms 91 there, which just happens to be the inspiration for this year's National Day of Prayer theme. A mighty fortress is our God.